Welcome back again to the Functional Medicine video blog. I'm Dr. Brady, and today I got a question from Mike in Chicago, and he um, he had been having some anxiety issues about a decade ago. Went on some antidepressants, didn't do much of anything, but however, when he went on Ritalin, it seemed to help him out quite uh, tremendously. But being the smart guy he is, he doesn't want to stay on it for the rest of his life uh, because of the potential long-term uh, side effects we don't know much about. So what I want to talk about today is um, is identifying um, brain imbalances and uh, talking about substitutions or alternatives to actually taking uh, taking Ritalin. So first of all, Ritalin is what's called a dopamine uh, reuptake inhibitor, and that's a fancy word for that the um, the dopamine um, that gets released from a, a brain cell isn't able to go back into that cell. That means there's more dopamine. Uh, for everyone to feast on. Here's the problem, is that that actually shuts down the brain's ability to naturally produce its own neurotransmitter dopamine. And the deal is with brain tissue, that's a key, uh, it's a golden rule. If you don't use it, you lose it. Your brain is very competitive with each other. Each brain cell is, is, is fighting for its, uh, its own life. So the deal is, is that if you get if you're on Ritalin for a long period of time and you get off of it, you can have some some pretty tremendous downfalls. The same thing goes with things like um, antidepressants. So the deal is to first of all figure out what is causing the imbalance in the first place. That's the question that never gets asked. That's not taught in in, in uh, medical schools today, and it's a question that just frankly isn't brought up. So we got to think about what affects the brain. What do you need to have proper brain function? Well, you need proper fatty acids. The majority of your brain is fat. So your proper fat intake needs to be there. Proper vitamin and mineral intake. Um, heavy metals, mercury, arsenic, antimony, lead can all affect brain tissue and screw up neurotransmitters. For, so uh, initially those things need to be looked at to figure out, all right, where, where do you stand? And then when you know that information, a individual program or treatment plan can be uh, can be implemented to slowly start to correct those imbalances. Just because those brain cells are, are turned off and not producing their own dopamine uh, naturally doesn't mean they cannot get back that way. Uh, it does take time to do, and with a little bit of dedication, um, things can improve and um, and hopefully improve to the point to where the medication is no longer needed. So when it comes to Ritalin, um, first thing I would do is run a neurotransmitter test, and uh, I'll um, I'll put a sample uh, test result down uh, down below here at the notes, so you can check it out. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions about testing brain chemicals or neurotransmitters is actually testing directly, specifically for those neurotransmitters, and through the urine. You'll see a lot of laboratories doing it. <clears throat> Uh, you know, in my opinion, they're absolutely worthless. Um, things like dopamine and serotonin, they're produced in multiple to uh, m multiple places in the body, and to measure them in, in the urine doesn't give you uh, the the specific amount in the brain itself. So, what we can test for that's a lot more useful in the clinical setting is that we can test for the breakdown products of dopamine. Dopamine has to, after it's used, it has to be gobbled up so you can get rid of it. Now, if we can test for those, which we can, we can see how well the body is actually utilizing the dopamine it does make. And if it's not doing it properly, we know exactly how to implement it. With using natural medicine, uh, that's one of the things I always tell my patients. Do not think that natural medicine is a watered-down word. It is not. It is not whatsoever. A lot of the pharmaceutical drugs, they do a lot of their research based off of natural medicine. So uh, so don't ever take that as a watered-down word um, or, uh, or a process. So um, so that's, uh, that's the way we would address it right there. Um, again, my name is Dr. Brady Hurst, and uh, I run a clinic here in Atlanta, Georgia, and see patients worldwide on our telehealth uh, service and where we do phone and video uh, consultations uh, around the world. Uh, please leave a comment, ask me questions. I try to get to them uh, as fast as I can uh, at the end of each day. So um, shoot questions. Also, post these, post these blogs on uh, other sites. There's people that are looking for information like this. 
who's not getting it. So, um, so make sure you spread this, uh, spread the video around. I'm Dr. Brady, and uh, we'll see you next time on the functional medicine video.